guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm Torati. thank you for tuning in today please like this video share your friends and family and don't forget to subscribe to my channel drop a comment down below your thoughts and opinion about this video today i want to talk about anger management this is the second series i told you about after love and submission this is anger management so let's jump right into the video share and subscribe welcome back guys so today we're talking about anger management firstly i want to say if you want to manage your hunger then definitely you must have seen a problem with your hunger issues you must maybe your anger issues has led to a lot of controversies or things that you, things happen and you didn't want that to happen or things happen and when you got down you felt like oh that's so bad i need to manage this anger so that the man anger won't get the best of you eventually so first thing I, I would advise you to do is to always once anything is making you angry or getting you angry i would, I would advise you just take a deep breath walk away from that situation at that point if it's something you can't walk away from try to ignore as as simple and as easy as that may sound it is extremely hard to ignore something when you are hungry hi i'm talking from experience because i've had hunger issues growing up as a child and definitely was something i had to work on over the years it's not something that would just go easily but these are things that worked for me so anger management that was something i had to work on for for i think about three four years i had to work on my hunger and i was i was having stupid oh god my my anger issues were so bad that my grandmother as i then bless her soul she would always be like ah to do they calm down like to look calm down what is wrong it's not as it's not as hard as that why are you so hungry you know things like that and at the point i was not seeing it as them trying to help me i was seeing it as them seeing a problem with me seeing a problem with who i was and i felt so bad at it so later it took me a while then when i realized so it came to a day that i got so hungry and i beat on and i caught myself in the process of beating somebody up i don't know how i got the cut but i had a cut behind my leg and that was when i felt like oh you need to put this under control that if i had caught a vein or a vein had caught in the process then i'll be dead then that was when i it dawned on me and i came to the realization of oh yes you have to manage your hunger so that this anger won't get the best of you one of the things that i've said earlier is that or oh, something is making you to get angry or getting you upset or not settling well with you the first thing i always say is that you should walk out of that situation Take a deep breath as hard as it is, it is going to be try it once you're hungry the next time just try it and you see how it is going to be you know from the video i did i'm going to link it down in the um in the description box i think that's about a month ago or five weeks ago on things ladies do that brings domestic violence on them literally i um and in the video i was saying that oh the manner of approach the way they talk their mannerism and how it is one of the things that brings domestic abuse and a man that's not patient once once you are physically of verbally abused by a woman it will bring down your ego so for you to show that yes i am still the man i am the masculinity ego for you to still be there and not show that it is bruised although it is bruised but to not show that it is bruised then the result to physical abuse after being verbally abused and a lot of women don't see a problem in verbally abusing their partners and there are some women that also physically abuse their partners as well but i'm saying that they don't see a problem in that so that leads to anger and when anger comes the anger is just like the devil you will not control anger so until you start putting this in your head that next time i'm hungry next time i'm hungry i'm not going to work out i'm going to take a deep breath next time i'm hungry i'm going to take a deep breath and move out of this situation if you can't move out of the situation in fact just find a way to move out if you can't move out of the situation try to ignore it you know i'll be fuming hungry when i was trying to ignore it i'll put headpiece on headpiece on and i'll never play anything because i want to listen to everything they are saying you know points like that so you will not there will be nothing left out that was so petty at that point you no know? But you know it will be very very hard to look away so i'll still put happy son and just keep quiet it was very hard to do but it was necessary and so some of the things that helped me to move ahead from my hunger problems the second thing i would say is better communication most of the time i discovered that why i was always getting angry was because i didn't really understand what uh, 
um, the communication process between the two parties or the three parties, no matter how long the communication process is. And I discovered that I was not understanding it. So just take a deep breath and understand what this person is trying to say. Don't, don't get yourself worked up over nothing. Although it might not be nothing at some point, and there are some times that the problems might just be a whole lot, a handful. So try to understand better and think of ways that you can solve it instead of getting angry getting angry will take hours of trying to you of you trying to find a solution and you just ranting and ranting and blabbing so after that you just take a deep time think of what you can use to solve these situations if you are being insulted and you're on the right um stand you can just walk away so as clear as that it's not as easy as I say, but it's as easy as that. So that you won't cause, you won't beat somebody up, you won't um, make someone die, you know. Anger issues that made someone um, eat one of my friends, and it was just a mere inch before I had to eat the um, room center table. Like, she fainted for a while, Sha. She woke up eventually, so she's good, she's fine now. But I'm just saying that it was anger that led to that. There are some people that. I would say that um, sense of their sense of humor, they can be very, they can be very, very jovial. But when it comes to them, their sense of humor is just so low, and they would attack you at the slightest if you just say that, oh, you, oh, I thought we we're joking. That this, the next thing you are receiving is a punch or a slap. Their sense of humor is very low. They take things personal, way too personal. So I just say, if you want to manage your hunger. Try to live freely, be free spirited. Don't take everything too serious. Don't hold everything to your chest. It's not be only you now. So just take everything small, small, relax. Another point I like to make is that you should find a way of coping with your hunger. Different things work for different people. Had I discovered that I was a social butterfly before, but right now I'm I'm just quiet. I'm just me. I'm just <laughs> And that was one of the things that helps me manage my hunger because every time I'll go out, one person or the other will offend me. I don't know. They will shout offend me. I'll be hungry. There are some times that they are older people and I cannot fight with them. I'll not be hungry. I'll just be transfer my aggression to every single person that is beside me or around me. And they'll be like, hey, what is this one again? So I just that was my own coping mechanism for that. And and for throughout the years of me trying to cope like that, it made me feel like, oh. I'm now an indoor person. I don't want to go out. I'm always indoor and things like that. Next thing I've said today, managing your hunger. I'm just saying that you should try to understand the situation more. You should try to communicate more. You should try to listen more. You should try to walk away from situations. You should try to not make things get to you easily. And you should try to have a higher sense of humor. Be as jovial as you are, or even if you're not jovial, try to be a jovial person. Don't be a narcissist. Don't be a narcissist. Don't be a say this in all you do just live freely no one is coming at you don't feel like everyone is at your back to get something from you if your ego is bruised don't think that the next way to to make use of it is through your hunger and do things that you eventually regret or apologize for in all i've said thank you for watching today's uh, episode on hunger management and thank you guys for tuning in and i hope to see you on wednesday until then see you bye